Hey there, Glenn Traer, uh, Mountain Man Journals, and Traer Wilderness Incorporated. Um, I thought I'd show you a video here today, a how-to video on um, the multi-flame tool. Um, this is uh, the larger of my two fire pistons that I've created. Um, what I've uh, done is I've come out here today and uh, just thought I'd show you around this beautiful Idaho wilderness here. Um, beautiful beautiful day beautiful scenery um, so I thought I'd bring you along and, and do this uh, video here and uh, kind of let you see the countryside um, this like I said is the multi flame tool um, I'm gonna show you the functions of this tool uh, here's the two parts of the fire piston um, this we're gonna do the lighting the fire Part first, um, I'm not gonna do a full out, full out uh, uh, fire today. I'm just gonna ignite the char and show you how to do that and how to replace your O-rings and such. Um, I don't want to do a full out fire. Uh, there's some fires in southern Idaho right now, and uh, as you can see, the smoke it's pretty smoky around here right now, and we don't want to get another fire going um, up here. So be very careful when you've got times like this. Um, anyways, uh, what we're going to do, um, what I'm going to do is show you uh, how to replace your O-ring and how to ignite your char um, in the fire piston. And you can go to my uh, Mountain Man Journals um, page and I show how to create char and stuff there and there's a lot of other videos out there on the on the internet that show you how to ignite your char and how to make char and, and stuff like that so these are the two um, parts right here um, as you can see there's no ring on on this part right here uh, very simple to use and to replace the o-ring I've just taken the o-ring off here's the o-ring um, what you do is I like to place that slit in there that you can use to get the char out. I like placing the O-ring over that and that's where I hold that side. I take the top of the O-ring and pull it over the other side and there you go. It's right on there. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is take some kind of lubricant. Um, I'm, this here is my wife's lip balm that she makes. Um, it's beeswax and has all kinds of oils and stuff in it. Um, good for cuts and, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but I'm going to be using it today on my fire piston. Um, I'm just getting a little bit on my finger. And I'm taking it and placing it on that O-ring. And I'm just smearing it all over that O-ring. Um, what that's doing, that's creating a seal. You can use um, anything really, uh, gun cleaning oil, um, Vaseline, your saliva, uh, anything. Anything to wet in that and make a seal you can pretty much use. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to take some char and tear a piece of your char off, a good little chunk and you place that into that hole on the end and I stuff it in there good and good and tight like such just smear it down in there stuffing it in and that's what you're left with right there okay now you take this part of the piston and you place this part into here and you just slam that down against and that ignites your char right like that now I use your pocket knife and you flick that pull that out and there you go hopefully you can see that smoke going and you place that into your bird's nest and blow your your bird's nest to life um, I'm going to place that in the, in my char tin because I don't want to, um, like I said, I don't want none of that to get loose and, and start a fire. So Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this part of the fire piston. Um, this is the part that we put the char in. 
um, what you do is this knob you unscrew this like such this end on here is drilled and tapped and what that's for is taking a cleaning brush you screw that into the end and you use that as like a cleaning rod I'm going to show you here um, how to um, use this take your pistol and placing that in this will clean your your pistol um, this will clean anything this rod will spit anything nine millimeter and larger this is a 380 which is basically a nine millimeter head um, it uh, it will fit anything nine millimeter and larger um, is what that will, will fit so again you just now you just unscrew that and screw the knob back onto that and you're ready to use it for a fire now on the other part this part of your piston you can see this end is um, hexed down here in the end what that's for is placing a bit this is a quarter inch hexed um, flat head bit um, I have Phillips head Phillips head and a nut driver in here. Um, you can use that for tearing down your gun if you want. You just place that in like such and you can take that and stick that in there and use that to get it there it goes. Use it as a screwdriver and you can take that and unscrew that and do this one I'm not going to tear it all the way down but you can see um, the functions of this that you can use this thing right like a screwdriver um, any any quarter inch hexed part will fit this um, will fit in the end there and there's hundreds and hundreds of different um, thing bits there and what I'd suggest is when you're going out, figure out what you might need, whether it's to tear down your gun, if you're out on a, a four-wheeler or a quad, um, what you might need to work on that, whatever. Um, figure out what bits you need and place them in your kit and carry them with you. Um, I'm going to take you over here and I'm going to show you uh, another function of the multi-flame tool, the larger one here. Uh, I'm going to take you over here to the woods and I'm going to show you another function of that. Okay, so what uh, what we're doing is we're just taking this and what I like to do is take the shaft part out and I like to get it started screwing it in with my hand on this part here, you know, the, the part that slides on the shaft, I get that started and once I get that started I'll take and I'll slide this in and you can use it like a two-handed auger like such you just keep on going now you get that thing started um, augering in there you don't have to keep using a uh, you know both both hands you can take and run it like this right around or you can take and run it in turn it, push it through in push it through you know however you you want to do it. I like doing it kind of like this. Works pretty good this way. And you just keep on augering down in there. And you can get a, I mean, that's cutting real nice. I, I mean, I can use one finger to do that. 
So it don't take much effort to, um, you know, do that. So now that you got a hole, I'll show you here um, how to uh, how to put a wooden peg in once you've got that part taken care of. Get that older bit out of there. Pull that. And sometimes you have to clean, you know, you might have to clean that hole out. You can use your auger bit to do that. I'm down in there. I mean, I'm down in there pretty far. I mean, I'm just about the length of my finger there. I'm down in there, and that didn't take no time at all. So now, what you do, I'll show you how to do this. Have your axe, and you could even do this with a um, with a uh, knife. You know, if you have a knife, you can take and see. I already did some of this, but chop a, a point onto the end here, and then you just take that, put it in that hole, and. go that thing's solid that ain't going nowhere and you just hang you know hang your stuff on it um, you know there's there's so many different ways you can use that uh, whether it's building a shelter building you know needing uh, something to hang your your pack off of your uh, um, your equipment whatever gun whatever um, I mean that works works awesome for doing that type of thing um, a three quarter inch auger this is iron um, a iron bit um, all you need to do is you know a three quarter inch bit and a seven eighth inch bit will fit in in here um, along with your fire piston you go any bigger it probably won't fit in there um, but smaller will and then that just fits right right in there and there you go um, so it makes it a very versatile tool and like I said you can you can use um, use this to build a little tiny cabin if you had to in like a long term situation like a month several month situation you know you could you could use use that to make a, a cabin or whatever um, so I just thought I'd show you the other part of the the, uh, the multi-flame tool, the the auger bit adapter. Um, slides right on your uh, onto your shaft of your the auger or the the piston, and uh, works works great, works wonderful. So. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, and I hope you'll uh, go and go to uh, trayerwilderness.com and purchase one of these. Um, awesome tools, awesome tool to have in your pack. And this here, with that auger bit in there, um, my char tin with the bits in it and stuff like that, this that weighs just under a pound. So, I mean... The weight versus rate on this is incredible. So, well, I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope everybody's doing well out there. And uh, I guess with that being said, take care, guys. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.